five saints for the month of March. St David was born in Wales on a cliff top during a violent storm around the year 500. He belonged to an aristocratic family and became a famous preacher and founded monasteries and churches from Wales to Brittany. He lived an ascetical life which he shared with others. His rule forbade the eating of meat. It is said that he made a pilgrimage to Jerusalem where he was made a bishop by the Patriarch. After his death, his shrine in West Wales became an important place of pilgrimage. We celebrate the Feast of St David on the 1st of March. St Patrick was born in Britain around the year 400. He was taken captive at the age of 16 and brought to Ireland where he worked as a slave and a herdsman until he escaped back to his family. Having felt a call to be a missionary to the Irish, he studied for the priesthood in France, returning to Ireland as a preacher in the second half of the first century. He was made Bishop of Ireland and is believed to be buried in Downpatrick. He is patron saint of Ireland from where many great missionaries have sprung. We celebrate the Feast of St. Patrick on the 17th of March. Joseph, the foster father of our Lord, was the legal father of Jesus. Through his genealogical line, Jesus is said to be of the line of David. In his self-gift to Mary and Jesus, Joseph fully shares an authentic human fatherhood and the mission of a father in the family. In 1870, Pius IX declared Joseph the patron of the Universal Church. Many saints have recommended his patronage, including Bernadine of Siena, Vincent Ferrer and Teresa of Avila. According to Teresa, to other saints, our Lord has given power to help in one sort of need. But to this glorious saint, as I know by experience, helps us in every need. We celebrate the Feast of St. Joseph on the 19th of March. Born into a respected Scottish Calvinist family in 1579, John Ogilvy was educated on mainland Europe by the Benedictines and Jesuits and decided at the age of 17 to become a Roman Catholic. After joining the Society of Jesus, he was ordained a priest in 1610 and applied to be sent to Glasgow, where Catholicism had been outlawed. He was betrayed in 1614 and cruelly tortured. He was hanged and disemboweled in 615. His last act was to throw his rosary beads into the crowd. He was canonised in 1976. We celebrate the Feast of John Ogilvy on the 10th of March. It is something of a miracle that we know anything about Saint Perpetua, having died at the young age of 22 and living most of her life in Carthage in North Africa. This was far away from the great cultural centres of Rome, Alexandria and Antioch. Not only that, but this was a time called the Century of Shadows because so little archaeological or documentary evidence survived the persecution of those years. Perpetua herself in fact been victim to one of these purges. Yet thanks to her prolific writing, which in itself was unusual for a woman of that time, we know a lot about her, about the church of the second century and about the martyrs of her day. Perpetua is the patron saint of mothers, expectant mothers and of butchers. We celebrate the feast of St Perpetua on the 7th of March. So that has been our top five minute saints for the month of March. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button and share the good news.